Good morning, YouTube. I hope you are having a glorious morning so far. It is Wednesday, November. I don't know why I feel the need to put the date in here, but it's Wednesday, November 14th. Um, and as you can see today, I am showing you guys a workout. Um, I literally just walked back in from the gym, which is why I'm looking a little hot mess struggling right now because <laughs> it is still pretty early. I mean, it's only 8.23 in the morning. So um, as you can see, I do work out typically very early in the morning just so I can get it out of the way because I am one of those people that I can't wait till the end of the day. Um, if I wait until the end of the day to work out, I won't work out. Like I just won't. So <laughs> because I do live a very healthy lifestyle, I do need to get my workout in, in the morning because I get really lazy by the end of the day. Really even like after 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm like, I can't to start over again tomorrow. <laughs> so um, I can definitely relate to everybody out there who is like that because I am certainly like that. Anyway, so like I said, because I've been rambling on, um, I did get my workout in early today and I was actually able to film it for you guys. So today is actually a little different because I was actually not able to film. Oh, sorry puppy. Um, my dogs are going all sorts of crazy this morning. Anyway. Um, I was not actually able to film at my normal gym that I go to. Um, I got a notification yesterday that, can you guys chill, please? You're just being a little rude, just a little rude. Do you, you wanna come on camera? Ah, she just, I'm a couple guys, I don't know. Okay, okay, all right. This is, like I said, Oh, struggle this morning. Anyway, they're just being so extra. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to get this out really fast. So I got a notification yesterday that the water broke or the, the main water pipe or something broke at my gym. They had to, it essentially flooded and they had to dry the place out, get the main water break to not be broken, whatever that means. Um, so I couldn't film there this morning. <laughs> And unfortunately, Lifetime does not allow you to film on their machines just because of, it's like super crowded and you can't film other people there. So um, great news for you guys because it really allowed me to show you a, a really killer workout that you can get in a really minimized space. So I did go to my apartment gym, so you do need some sort of equipment to work with it. But I did a lot of exercises on the Smith machine which I like never do um, really, but I had to modify my workout because I needed to get it in this morning. So I did show you guys what you can get done in a really tiny space with a really just a Smith machine, another piece of equipment that is kind of pretty old and then just body weight movements. Um, so I hope that you guys really enjoy it. If you do like this video, please do me a solid. Give it a thumbs up to like it. Also subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Like I really do wanna interact with you guys and know what you'd like to see because I normally post beauty things on my YouTube channel and I kind of keep fitness to my Instagram, but I kind of wanted to show you guys like what I actually do. Like I truly am passionate and interested in both fitness and beauty and just showing you guys my life. And if that's something that you're interested in, I'm, I want to show you. Um, I'm certainly going to do beauty uh, tutorials as well because I do have another one that I'm working on editing currently, but I figured this was like super easy and I was going to work out anyway. So you guys can just kind of benefit from it. So I've been rambling on. <laughs> I clearly had too much pre-workout this morning because uh, I never take pre-workout and I had to this morning because I ran out of BCAAs and I just needed flavor. So yeah, this is what you get. Um, so like I said, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends, please. And that's all I got for you guys. So let's get on to the video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so I'm really, I'm just going to jump straight into it. First and foremost, I want to apologize. I am filming the audio while I'm on a plane, so if there is background noise, that is why. Um, so you can see here that I am doing just a couple quick leg swings to loosen up my hip flexors. I did do a full glute activation workout prior to this. If you guys are interested in seeing a glute activation um, warm up, I'm more than happy to film that. Just make a comment down below and I can certainly do that for you in future videos. The first compound movement that I'm going to jump into on the Smith machine is going to be squats. So what I do is stack up the weight pretty heavy here. Um, I am going to complete about four sets of eight to 10 reps. Now keep in mind with a Smith machine, if you're not used to using this, 
it does allow you to um, add on the weight to it simply because um, there is resistance that goes with it. So typically a Smith machine is going to decrease the weight by 15 pounds. So overcompensate rather than shoving what you would normally do, the same amount of weight onto your barbell, up the weight for a Smith machine squat. So I complete this for four rounds prior to moving on to the next exercise. Now the next exercise that I am performing here is going to be a Smith machine, Smith machine reversed lunge with a leg lift. I am doing four sets of eight reps and these eight reps are going to be performed on each leg. I am not supersetting this with any other exercise because your legs and your glutes, girl, they will be burning. Here's a quick little side view so you can see how far down I am dipping. And then switching sides and doing 8 to 10 on the other side. Make sure that you are taking a break after each set. Girl, you can see by the end of this exercise that I needed to take a quick step back and just to relax before I did move on. Make sure that you do give yourself about one to two minutes to rest in between your compound movements because you are going to be crushing your body. Now next up, we're going to be moving on to a Smith Machine hip thrust. So these are fairly new to me. Um, I am still working with a Smith Machine considering I am not normally in a position to where I would need to use them. So here I am just doing a um, squat with a hip thrust and it is in a kneeling position. I am doing anywhere between 8 to 12 reps and this I will be supersetting with Bulgarian split squats which we'll see in a minute. Make sure that your knees are about hip width apart or a little bit separated from that just so you can get the full range of motion. Give yourself about 30 to 45 second break and then hop right on up, grab some dumbbells and get over to your bench to complete some Bulgarian split squats. With these split squats, you do want to put one leg back on the bench and then lean slightly forward to put the weight in the back heel on the foot that's on the ground. And I am doing anywhere between eight to 10 reps. This, I did, do, I did go pretty heavy on the weight here, so I am going only to about eight reps per side. Take a little breather and then get right back into it, guys. And then as soon as you are done the Bulgarian split squats, give yourself again another one to two minute break before you go right back into the hip thrusts. These are super setted, so you do want to complete three to four full rounds of doing hip thrusts to Bulgarian split squats. Ooh, so what's coming up next is super fun. As you can see, I did have to use a jankety piece of equipment in my old apartment and gym. Um, it is not suited for my body type, which is why I am leaning very far forward. But here I am doing single leg presses um, on the piece of equipment. Um, and I am doing fairly light weight, anywhere between um, 8 to 12 reps. Again, this is more for just a burnout, and I only did it for about three sets just to get more of a um, compression in my quads and a little bit in my hamstrings. Um, work with whatever equipment you guys have. As you can see, it's very minimal in the apartment complex that I have, but guys, you gotta get it in. And finally, we have reached our last set, and this is my absolute favorite glute workout. These are the cable glute kickbacks. 
literally my favorite things in the world. They are a booty crusher. So as you can see, I do have a body fairly aligned and I am starting with my right leg, kicking it straight back. This is until failure. Um, so crank up the weight on this, squeeze your booty from, you know, from the top to the absolute bottom. Don't put too much pressure in your hands because um, you do really want to feel it in the glute area. Once you're done the right side, switch it on over to the left side and get it going, girl. This is the exercise that is going to shape your glutes and give you that lifted effect. Um, so it looks like you're wearing those little lemon leggings when you're really not. This is the end of my glute workout. I know a lot of people don't have access to a large fitness facility, but I wanted to show you that you really can work with a minimal space um, if the equipment is semi-available. As you can see in the background, I only have a couple of dumbbells, really old machines. But guys, get it in. No excuses. You can get the body that you want if you really put the time and the effort into it. So. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you did like it, do me a favor, give it a couple of thumbs up. Comment down below if you did like it, if you didn't like it, what you want to see next time. Hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the workout. Bye.